Hey everyone, today I'm joined by Ashley. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Ash Hardell and I make videos on YouTube. They're fun. They're about LGBT stuff and mental health stuff and lots of things. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ash is over from America and she's staying with me and so we thought we'd make videos together. Also, Ash is the author of the ABCs of LGBT+. Plus. Oh my god, you can buy her book now. It's available now. It's beautiful. If you guys, the first question a lot of people ask is, are there pictures? There what? are so many pictures in loads my book. Loads of pictures. Book. It's a comprehensive guide to loads of LGBT terms. Yep. And identities. Correct. And things. Perfect. Also, I wrote a book, just plugging that as per usual. It's out on the 6th of April. You can buy it. And also, Ashley wrote a thing in it, so. It's true. Da -da. This doesn't have pictures, but it has like diagrams and illustrations. So, in this video, I wanted to talk about mental health because I don't think it's anything that I've actually covered on my channel before, but it is something that I've wanted to talk about for ages but I never felt like I could because I'm a happy person. But and I'm actually, a sad person. <laughs> that I get sad. <laughs> We're gonna talk about how to deal with your sad friend. Yeah. I volunteered to be the token sad friend. This is my sad friend. So you can ask me all the questions you've been wanting to ask your other sad friends. Yep. I'm open to it. <laughs> okay, so first of all, what is your mental health history? Do you want to just like just give a brief overview of yeah. what, we're deal what we're dealing with here? Yep. <laughs> well, there's a lot. I'm very sad. <laughs> uh, I have gone through like three major depressive episodes in my life. I just have depression that comes and goes. I take antidepressants to manage it. Those really help. And then on top of that, I also just like have pretty standard normal anxiety and then I have just like everyone on the internet right uh -huh. <laughs> but sometimes I do I do have like the anxiety attacks more like uh, like I was starting to get really flustered upstairs when I couldn't find my passport and my thing so I actually just took two Prozac so oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Grace knows that if anything if we ever start rushing Grace is right there by my, the way. <laughs> my wife is right there if we ever start rushing I, could, I just get really really overwhelmed so much so I like I can't handle it that's I, interesting mm -hmm. because but also like the way that you described that I would describe my reaction to stress. Right. But I wouldn't consider mm -hmm. that necessarily. Like, it's a mental health thing in general because everyone has mental health. I think the difference is yeah. that if it would have kept going, I probably would have sat down and cried. No, but that's what I do when I'm stressed. I cry. Would you have done it, like, in front of people and then maybe, like... I can be so bad where like I would do it in front of people and be like I don't know if I want to film this collab anymore and just like let it like I it's, it's, it's some, it can just like take over and I think it's more like I let it take over the day and ruin it I'm like yeah okay mm -hmm. and I start shaming myself so much for oh. like getting upset I'm like no I'm a bad adult I'm incompetent at doing the stuff and no. so you just uh -huh. internalize it yeah. and you're mad at yourself Exactly. Okay, so that, that would be the difference between Uh huh. And then my Grace will be like, stress, we can turn it around and there's, there's still like 12 hours left in the day. We can still have fun. I'm like, no! <laughs> it's gone! The there's fun no is gone. hope! Okay, so how does Grace deal with that? And then, and then how <laughs> do I deal with that? Oh, okay, okay. If you or any of my other sad friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends, because we were just talking about anxiety. Are you dealing with your anxious friend or your sad friend? I think I've got a mixture. Pick one first. Okay, let's, we're talking about anxiety. Let's do anxiety Okay, anxiety. First. Just be really understanding and patient. Patient is a huge mm -hmm. thing, I think. And also, I find that when I'm very anxious... Um, like I was just talking about, I tend to beat myself up a lot, and I don't extend myself any forgiveness or self-compassion. Sure. So if you could do it for me, oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, if you so could, be like, you're fine, you're doing great, right, and like, you're, like, you're not a bad person. Right, like, it's totally normal to yeah. lose things or be running late. Like, it happens to all of us, and like, you just need to forgive yourself. But also, like, the real thing, though, is, um, people who feel worthless need to, like, find ways to you know, obviously build themselves up. So if yeah. you can also provide tools. So give them the opportunity to prove their own competence to themselves kind of thing. Or like maybe praise them when they have done something. When, maybe like whilst they're in an anxious state, but they still manage to do something. Like make a big deal of that. Like look, you you managed to do this. Definitely like validation yeah. in pointing them out, pointing that out. Valid validation is always great. But also you can't make them unanxious. You know what I mean? Sure. And, and you, you can't turn into the person they depend on 
to be unanxious. Mm-hmm. You can't be like that enabler or that kind of like crutch always. Yeah. So you, you should definitely be helpful, but you should have to remind them like, you have to practice self-care on your own and put themselves first and be active in dealing with their anxiety. Because the only way to like cope with anxiety effectively is for you to want to do it and actively do it. And a lot about it for me also is like agency. Like, I don't want my anxiety to take control over my day. But, like, for, like, just a split second, it'll sound overdramatic. I, I, like, sat up there and I was like, nope. Like, I'm in control of this day. It's gonna be a killer day. I'm gonna see a lot of friends and it's gonna be good. I'm not gonna let this weird, like, flustered feeling I have, like, increase and climax. And And we're gonna find your passport and your jeans. I found it! Oh, there we go! How to deal with your depressed friend. With your depressed friend? Yeah. Your depressed friend, if your depressed friend is anything like me, is probably turning away. They're like turning into themselves. Yeah. That's like one of the worst things for depression. You should reach out. I don't want to speak for like all depressed people, so... Um, what works for you then? Yeah. When I'm depressed, I turn into myself. I isolate myself. I want people to reach out. But, but you don't want to ask for help. But I don't want to ask for help. And when people do reach out, I'm so difficult. I'll even, I'll think to myself like... Oh, that's so nice that, like, they want to hang out, but what they don't know is that they really don't want to hang out with me because I'm a giant buzzkill and, like... You think you're a burden. Yeah. Yeah. And also, when I'm sad, I like people to just, like, tell me it's okay to be sad because a lot of my... When I'm in an episode of depression, there's, like, kind of nothing you can do about it but just, like, ride the wave and, like, (laughs) let it pass. It can be really, like, disheartening to try to constantly fix it and be happy and it doesn't work and you're like I'm trying so hard and I'm so sad and it just makes me sadder so just being like it's okay to it's okay to have a bad day hey it's okay to have a bad week when people tell me that that kind of like validates me and I'm like thank you I'm gonna be here and be sad right Uh uh-huh I'm a very happy person okay I've never had like any kind of serious mental health issue. I've not been diagnosed with anything. I do try so hard to understand and I've listened to loads of my friends talk about their mental health stuff and like read stuff and watch stuff. But it's one of those things where I still, I just have no idea. I'm just like, what does that feel like? Sure. How can I help? And then also just like being so removed from it and like I'm a big advocate for empathy right when it comes to mental health stuff I there's like I just can't like that because right. I it's so far you can to sympathize me. but you can't empathize yeah yeah exactly I feel like because also my personality is very like extroverted and outgoing and like if you just distract yourself with like fun activities and do things it'll mm-hmm. just like make you forget that you're depressed sure is that useful it know. definitely might be for some people is it useful for me Every day is different. Some days I'll just kind of want to like hang out and be sad and have my friends and my love tell me it's okay to be sad. Mm -hmm. Some days I'll want to get out of the house and distract myself but know that if I'm not into it it's okay to go back home. Has it ever gotten in the way of like work, friendships, relationships? It it got so, I was so depressed once. Oh, you okay? Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, Yeah. I I wasn't about to cry, I was like, kind of giggling, (laughs) giggling because it was so intense, but I I was, so like I said, I turn in and I don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. I dropped out of grad school and that was the trigger. Sure. And I was like, I'm not an adult and I couldn't even handle grad school. The rest of my friend group was in grad school, not my program, but also in Mm -hmm. grad school. Um, I, I dropped out of grad school and immediately became depressed, and then for six months pretended to my friends that I was still in grad school, (gasps) didn't tell any of them. Oh my god, Biggest lie I've ever told my friends. Huge lie. Super weird. That's another thing depression does. It turns you kind of into a person you're not. I wouldn't lie about, like, happy Ash wouldn't lie about that stuff. Yeah. But sad Ash is just so ashamed. I just, like, I just couldn't bring it on myself to tell my friends. What did you do with your days during that time when all your friends thought you were, like, at school? Well, I lived with my boyfriend at the time, so, um, I got a job as a barista at Caribou, and I made YouTube videos. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) And then, finally, I told my friends I was depressed, uh, I was on meds, and I wasn't going to school. And it was very shocking for them. Yeah. But guess what? They still loved me, and it felt so good to tell them. It felt, it was like this weight lifted off my shoulders, and they're all like, Ash, that's horrible, but like, not because you're horrible, but because you felt like you had to keep that a secret. That biggest takeaway 
from that for me was to never hide anything, always turn into people, tell people, talk to people. This is going to sound so weird, but like, I feel awkward when my sad or mentally ill friends are talking to me about how they're feeling because I'm just like, how do I respond to this? I'm just, I'm just going to be here like, I love you, you're great. Uh-huh. Like, I'm sorry that's happening to you, but that's the only, that's all I know to think, to say, or ask specific questions if, like, what they, I don't know, I just, I feel sure. awkward, and I know I shouldn't feel awkward because it's not about me. Sometimes the thing I like to hear is, like, I totally believe you, kind mm-hmm. of, because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I have to prove how sad I am. Another thing I like to hear is, like, and I'm here for you. Yeah. Um, you can even say, like, to be honest, I'm not even totally sure what to say but I'm here I'm sitting here with you and I love you and we can either figure this out together or if it's just a bad day then today's just a bad day and um we'll get through it that's how you deal with your sad friend Mm -hmm. (laughs) thanks Ash yeah (laughs) I am only speaking you know uh, Mm -hmm. from my own experience and for what works with me people with anxiety and depression can absolutely experience these things differently and different things may work for them and if you want to talk about things i didn't mention in the comments feel free yeah do that do that so then people can read it and then maybe they've got some sad and anxious friends and then they can like better help their friends yeah we did it yay cool thank you guys for watching please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it also we did a video on ash's channel outing hannah winton (laughs) where we talked about Hetero flexibility. And outing Hannah Witten. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, what, you Not clickbait. <laughs> so yeah, that's on her channel, so you should check it out. You should check it out. It's good. <laughs> okay. See you soon. <laughs> You're so uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 <I'm so gay. laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 <laughs>